guys, it's Suzanne. I am doing my update while I'm driving, so you'll just have to excuse me while I just pay attention to the road. Um, I did want to give an update. I haven't been on in forever. I have been watching uh, videos, and I've been trying to get to where I could do one, and I just haven't been able to find the time. Thus, the uh, doing a video while I'm driving this morning, and I, I'm actually on my way to uh, have a, an ultrasound or a sonogram to see if we're going to be ready for retrieval soon. So, um, a lot has gone on, um, but I think I'm just going to stick to the basics of um, just the pertinent information on the IVF and, and leave some of my funny little stories out because I've had some interesting little things happen. But, anyway. Um, so, you know, last month we had one follicle that got too big too soon, and so uh, they canceled that cycle. Well, um, we have been doing pretty good on this cycle. Not as many follicles as last month. We had 16 last month, and this month it looks like we have only about 8 total, um, where we're getting a report that about 4 or 5 of them are looking like they're kind of right around the right size to all together kind of group together and then there are some little bitty ones that may or may not make it by retrieval um, I've had this happen before where I had some small ones that didn't look you know good to the nurses and the sonographer and um, lo and behold day of retrieval um, I got, they had got several more than what they anticipated. So, with that being said, I am um, very hopeful that not only do we have our, you know, four, five, six that are the ones that they like, I'm thinking we're going to have the eight that they're totally seeing. Plus, I wouldn't be totally surprised if we had a few more kind of pop up before retrieval date. It is Tuesday. Oh my gosh. And Baby Bound is having her transfer today. That's a huge thing. And I'm really upset that IVF Forbes is taking a little break because I would, um, I'm going to miss her. But um, anyway, I, um, I'm almost to the office to have my sonogram. And uh, hopefully I'll get a good report. I just, I used to like not realize that you could go in at any point. Okay, I'm an old person that almost ran into me. Um, you know, whenever they stop and they have to take a left and then they swerve way out to the right into your lane and you're like, hello, I'm here. <laughs> so anyway, sorry. This is why people should not drive and make vlogs because they get distracted. But at least I'm getting distracted from you and not the road. <laughs> Not to be rude, but that's where my husband always turns. My husband always turns in early, and I'm like, "Why'd you turn in early?" He's like, "Cause that light's red. Look, we would still be sitting there." Um. Anywho. Um. Yeah, I used to be a lot more optimistic, and then I realized that at any point your cycles could be canceled, and so now, oh, sorry guys, and now I proceed with caution because never take it for granted. So, um, maybe by, since it's Tuesday, maybe by Thursday or Friday, I'll be having my high retrieval and have the weekend to kind of just recoup and then, um, have my transfer on, I don't know, day three, day five. I used to care about day three or day five. I always wanted day five. Now I don't care. I've seen a lot of success on day from day three transfers. So even though research and all that shows that if you can make it to day five, you have like a 50% chance better that you'll um, implant. But it didn't work for me. So anyway, I'm here. I'm parking. And that's my update. And I'm just going to go ahead and post this. Okay, bye.